criterion is an important calculation used to identify vortices. In this video, we'll show you how to calculate Q criterion, plot the results, and compare the performance of Plot3D and Sizzle file formats for this work. In this example, we are using the final time step of a transient simulation of a wind turbine. An overset mesh was used and is composed of 5,863 zones with a total of 263 million elements. The output is in Plot3D file format and the grid and solution files combine for a total of 21 gigabytes. To calculate Q criterion, go to Analyze, Calculate Variables, and select Q criterion from the list. The Calculate Variables dialog has a unique feature called Calculate on Demand. If you check this toggle, the formula will simply be registered and the calculation will not occur until it is required. This can save a significant amount of time, particularly for a dataset such as this, which has many zones, because the calculation will only be performed on the zones required for the desired plot. Use an isosurface at a positive value near zero to view the resulting Q criterion calculation. Some adjustment of the isosurface value will be required to see the vortices. Increasing Q reduces the complexity of the isosurface, but too high a value of Q makes an isosurface that is too sparse. It is important to find a value that results in an isosurface that is neither too dense nor too sparse. When run in batch mode, the total time to load the data, calculate Q, and generate an image with an isosurface at Q equals 0.01, .01 without calculate on demand, was 517 seconds for the plot3d file and 409 seconds for the sizzle file. Using Calculate On Demand was 27% faster, taking 372 seconds for the Plot3D file and 299 seconds for the sizzle file. Additionally, the sizzle file is 35% smaller at only 13 gigabytes. This concludes the tutorial on Q Criterion. You can download a free trial of TechPlot360 from our website, and thank you for watching.